go. Here we go, got one. All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, I am out here at one of my local frozen lakes. I have all of my ice gear in here. I had to take all my uh, my bed and stuff out, but I've got all my ice gear, got my sleeping bag, and I just punched a hole in the ice to check thickness. We've got about nine inches uh, of ice here right now, which is enough to drive a small car on. Uh, so the goal tonight is to camp on the ice and potentially do a catch and cook. Uh, I'm waiting on the homie Mike. He's gonna camp out with me tonight. He'll be bringing his shack and stuff. Uh, but I gotta get all my junk unloaded, get some of it on the ice, decide which shack I'm gonna camp in tonight because I did pick up a second one. I have a pop-up now along with this flip over. So we shall see what we're gonna do. But uh, I'm gonna get all my junk out and I'm just gonna get out there. Stay tuned guys, this should be a good one. I apologize if it's windy. It's just part of the game out here. So, I'll be using a, oh, this is a light action rod. I've got a tiny little jig on there that will glow in the dark. And uh, we're gonna see what that does. bait we're gonna use wax worms if you guys don't know what they are they're tiny little they look basically like maggots uh, these guys are alive they're a little a little cold there's the homie Mike right there but we'll use these as bait and a couple of these on our hook here got one on there this is only like three foot right here Oh, I got one. Okay. There we go. A little crop crap. A little on the thin side, but uh, not bad. Eight, eight, hey nine. guys, three foot of water. And I just caught a crappie. And uh, I mean, it's small, but it eats. I mean, we're eating what we catch, right? We're going to eat what we catch. It's a start. It's a start. Uh, but we got to find some deeper water. I, I thought this whole area right here was deep, so we're going to keep... Or maybe not. <laughs> or it might not be. We're going to keep looking around, uh, but I'm going to dispatch this guy, and we're definitely going to keep him because we're going to try to eat some fish tonight. He's hungry. So, yeah. So he's got a live scope, which is way nicer than what I'm running, and he says there's fish right there. So we'll see what happens. We definitely need to find some deeper water for this. Uh, and figure out where we want to set up for the night. Oop, there we go. Got another one. That's a little catfish. That is definitely edible. It's, it's a little small. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw that guy back. What do you think? Yeah. Huh? Foot and a half. Foot and a half? God, it seems like it should be way deeper right here. Well, he's back down the hole. That wind is howling, guys. I'm sorry if it's terrible on the camera there. All right, guys, we've caught a couple more fish. Catfish. We've only caught the one crappie and a bunch of little catfish. Mike got one over here. Uh, we moved our trucks over a little ways and Mike has got his hub set up. He's getting ready for his for camping, so he's getting his, he's getting his set up. Uh, and 
I went and purchased one on Facebook Marketplace. So I also have a pop-up along with my flip over out here. But we're gonna try to set up the pop-up and sleep in that tonight. So it is a, it's an otter brand. Excuse me, it's an otter just like his. Uh, but it's, it's smaller than that one. So fingers crossed my cot actually fits inside of it. I did not have the opportunity to check that at home. But here it is right here. We're gonna set that up quick. And I'm gonna, at this point, set it up right here because this hole I got is the deepest one I found so far and it's only seven foot. Let's, uh, let's attempt to set this thing up over our hole right here. Tell, I don't know what I'm doing. here it is otter xth pro cabin it's an older one so it still has the triangle door mike's has like a full-size door uh, but it's not super big by any means i can almost stand up inside of it but as you can see it's pretty small in here i'm not sure if my car i don't I honestly, I don't think my cot's gonna fit in here. I'm gonna go grab it, we'll find out. I don't have high hopes for this. I mean, I have high hopes. I don't think I'm gonna, there's no way this is gonna fit in here. No way this is gonna fit. Could be wrong, but I'm doubting it. You know, I just realized this thing only has one door on it. I thought I had two doors, but. If I can't camp in this thing, we're definitely gonna have to sell it and get ourselves a bigger one. And I don't wanna have to sit in here uh, lopsided, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it fits and it doesn't fit at the same time. It does not fit all the way up against the wall, but, but it'll work. Uh, bummer is my hole that I've already put is over there. So this is going to have to move against that wall because we only have the one door in here. Heave ho, heave ho. My leg isn't about to go down the hole. Yeah, it's really, it's really tight, y'all. I can't get all the way against the wall. And, uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. I mean, the reality of it is with the space that I have left on this side is the same. It's, that is almost exactly the same as as what I've got in my shack. In fact, my shack is longer once you flip it open. Uh, but you, since you have the tub right here on that side, you're, you're only left with a small space to fish. At least with this, I've got, I can still set up a couple of holes in here. We'll do it for tonight and I guess I'll decide, but I might have to sell this thing and get one that's just a little bit bigger. So once you put all your gear in here, uh, you run out of space pretty quickly. 
we'll do it for tonight. See what happens. I gotta grab my sleeping bag and a bunch of different gear and, and all of that, but I'll see you guys once we get this all set up and get a couple of holes drilled so I can fish in here. Okay, for the most part we're set up. I've got my cot in here, I've got workout mats for a floor. I grab my buddy heater, some extra propane. Uh, in this little pocket over here is my carbon monoxide detector. I drilled a couple of holes and uh, got my other stuff here. Mike has caught like five little more catfish that we've kept. I've got a couple over here and we've got a crappie over there. Sipping on a Coors Light and uh, I'm gonna probably just go pop a hole over there and hang out by Mike for a while and see if we can catch something maybe a little bit bigger. One catfish that's like three times the size of these little ones is be all we need, but we've got plenty for dinner. So at some point we actually have to think about cleaning and cooking, which is the cleaning is the worst part, but see if we can catch something else. I wouldn't be surprised. If that's the case, I'm gonna start dumping some back. Mm -hmm. Put away from you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's pulling it. go. I'm just going to toss this guy back for now. The grass uh, back down the hole that way. All right guys so we've caught we've currently caught our limit of channel catfish for the day here uh, but we've got dinner so we got to start cleaning these guys up and get them cooked. We're gonna obviously keep fishing and hope that we can get something bigger. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll catch some uh, crappie again. But uh, yeah, we've hit our daily bag limit of 10 for channel cats between the two of us. So sun is going down. What time is it? It's like 4.30, 4.45. 4.35. 4 so we're gonna be out of light here very, very quickly. Uh, so reluctantly, I'm going to get started cleaning these fish. So we, we're going to get into that and then we'll get to cooking some dinner, guys. Stay tuned. All right, we've got Mike's buddy heater with the flex cooker on there. Grab my pan. We've got our fish clean. Where's our fish at? Right here. Right here. We turned up. Uh, we got a decent you know, little honestly, amount. Honestly, not bad. For not what bad. we caught. Uh, I know you guys can't see me. Lighting is terrible in these videos. For what we caught, it's plenty. Uh, let's see. Let's get this stuff. Uh... Oh, we need to get some oil. Here, you kill your light. I, I light you up. All right. Uh, so I grabbed this from home. So one of you guys sent this in. Uh, DeKine Diego's Insane Burritos Barney Burn Hot Sauce. I don't know how spicy this is because uh, I've never opened it. But we're gonna. Um, Wait, are we gonna wash with that? We're gonna wash with this. We oh, don't have to man. use a ton of it. <laughs> oh man. But we're gonna wash the fish with this. And then I've got some shore lunch in here somewhere over yonder. I think. I wouldn't take that in the house, did I? If I did, we're in trouble. Nope, here it is. All right. <laughs> Oof. Oh. We've got Cajun style shore lunch. That you guys can't see at all. <laughs> Lighting is terrible. Cajun shore lunch. You know, we've got some oil here, so let's go ahead and toss a little bit of this in the pan. Get it, get it warming up if it's not frozen shut. That should be plenty. Oh, easy. Yeah. Man, that's uh, <laughs> you know, I, I usually do mine in like uh, Frank's. Frank's is the normal you one know, to which, do it, yeah, which is really, really tasty. And I, <laughs> this stuff, I don't know, you man. might get the Barney Burn, I guess. You know, it's a good thing I brought that toilet with me. <laughs> you need one, it's, it's in that blue bag. Mike's always got a toilet with him, you have to. I just poop in bags. Well, eventually, it'll make its way there, but it smells spicy. 
It's not bad. Let me see this. Let me see not this. Not too bad. It smells. Ooh, it smells pretty spicy. Actually, it smells really good. It does smell good. It's got peppers, like seeds and stuff in there. Yeah, it's got one. Uh, I feel like though, after you cook the fish, it takes a lot of that out, and yeah, we don't need a ton of it, honestly. Right. Mm. That might mm. be enough. That seed's got a little, a little kick to it. Yeah. None of the fillets are very big, but we've got plenty for the fish that we caught. It's a crappie right there. It's just, yeah, that's not, not fucking waste any time here. This gonna be good, bro. Mm -hmm. This gonna be real good. Hank, we're just probably gonna dump the shore lift right in this thing. Instead of doing it in a separate bag. These guys you know? it up. And what I do with right there in the cooler. Shore lunch. Here we go. Alright, Cajun style. I don't know if I've had did we have this when we were in South Dakota? Um, that's what we used. No. I, I remember we used that uh pretzel stuff up there. Oh yeah, the dots. Yeah, the we used dots. dots up there. He said no need to mess up another bag. I'm trying I'm not gonna try to spill this all over myself. Dude, I can smell that oil. I think she's about there. You can probably turn that down a bit. Get it down below. And blow on your fish. You did what? <laughs> Don't tell my buddy. <laughs> I need an adult. It will be okay. I got faith in you, brother. It looks pretty gross. Like I probably should have done it the other way. <laughs> how hungry I am. I don't think it matters. No, we're going to eat it no matter what. Yep. All right. Yeah, I did not do that appropriately. Did not do that appropriately. You, know you live and you learn. Yeah. Don't do it that way, guys. Use a separate bag. These don't look the greatest. <laughs> oh, they don't look terrible. No, it'll be fine. So you didn't even drop it away from me. You don't want me to yeah. burn myself? Yeah. Yeah. One of Cody's other subscribers said, uh, <laughs> they called us amateurs because we do it the other way. So I learned from my mistake as well. So thank you, whoever that was. Oh, somebody said that in the comments on yeah. the video? Yeah. Uh, yeah it, uh, we were in Minnesota at one of Ross's places. Yeah, probably should have. Honestly, I think it's gonna be It'll be just fine. Okay. Oh man. That's just the start of it. Yeah, we got plenty more. I can smell that hot sauce. I guess that could be the Cajun. It smells good. Yeah, the breading did not stick very well by doing it the way that I did it. We should always use a separate bag. Yeah, I really wish we would have caught one big fish. That would have been nice. It would have been a whole lot easier to clean. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm not bad. Yeah, I mean, Quaidy, you know, he's kind of a douche, but he's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's me! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. Mike's on the phone over there if you can't hear him talking, but we've got all the fish off. I'm gonna get rid of this grease. Mike's gonna make some uh, mac and cheese. So we'll let this sit for a little while. Throw this on top so it doesn't get cold. All right, we got a big old kitty nugget. I need to get turned here with all mm. four mats. Yes. I think it's good. I don't taste the, well, there's a little aftertaste of it. Not a ton of spice, but enough. Right. Is it done? Yeah, it's, it's, it's young. Oh yeah, it's falling apart, it's done. Not too shabby. I mean, it's definitely got a different flavor as opposed to just the... As to just plain breading. Just plain breading. Oh yeah, that one was way spicier. Yeah, this one got some kick to it. I'm gonna break a sweat. I can I can taste the sauce. 
It's not overpowering, but it is definitely warm. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm already sweating. Yeah, my, my tongue. Already sweating. This guy coming right to me. All right, you come. He went away. Catch a big one on camera. That one come down. Oh, yeah. You might get a fish over here. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> a little catfish. Another catfish. <laughs> You know what? Just straight in the frying pan. There, right in there. There are a lot of catfish in this lake. Mm. Certain pieces I could definitely get way more of the hot sauce on it. You got crappie? I feel like this might be the crappie too. It's pretty white. Oh yeah, might be. Yeah, it is. Look at that processed American cheese right there, boys. Mm, processed food, <laughs> yes. You don't get no better than that, I tell you. Oh, a little nugget of fish here. Oh. Well, let me tell you. And we've got our second course here. Some smack and cheese. That'll warm you up. Steamy schmack and cheese. We're about out of fish down here, guys. We've gone through it. It's been really good. It's actually getting kind of cold now. I got to get it before it gets cold. I'd say it's a pretty satisfying dinner. Mm-hmm. Got some of my dad's fudge. If you're watching, thanks, Pops. Appreciate it. Thanks for the fudge, man. I look forward to that every year. This was on point, bro. Mac and cheese is good. The fish was good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to get finished up with dinner, get this junk cleaned up, and we'll get back to fishing. Hopefully we catch up with bigger before the night's over. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, I've made it into my shack, my tiny little shack over here. Kind of trying to get my stuff set up. Uh, I, uh, I don't hate this thing, but it's definitely smaller than I expected once I got my cot in here. Uh, and since I bought it used, it is missing. There's usually like a cargo, a gear net that goes over there that it's missing. So I don't know how I'm going to put a fan up if I need to do that. But I'm going to get my heater turned on over here. Although it's not bad in here at all. Well, you can do it. There we go. A little bit of heat going. It's probably going to get really hot in here with that going. It's currently 34 degrees feels like 25 and we have a low of 29 tonight so it's actually uh, warm enough that it should be melting the ice right now but it's not too bad and I'm getting my socks wet because I'm not being careful but be all right man my screen is lit up it's got to just be a bunch of small fish down there we'll just let that guy sit have ourselves a service Got one. That doesn't seem bad. There we go, guys. Not a great kitty, but uh, probably a little bit bigger than the ones we've been catching, but we'll send him back down the hole. Oh, nope, back down the hole. There you go. Slimy hand. Well, y'all, it's, it's getting pretty late. 11.45 at this point, so I should probably go to bed since I'm not really having much luck. I've got my window cracked open because it's really warm in here with that heater going. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to run that thing tonight. I'll probably just move it over here so if I wake up cold I can reach down and turn it on. 
I'll leave this rod out. I'll probably rebait it. And then I can take my rod holder here that it'll slide into. And I can put it around the leg on this thing. One way or the other, I think. We'll leave our rod holder down here, which is now attached to my bed. And the fish should not be able to pull my rod in, one would hope. I think we're good with that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I don't think I'll lose it. I'll hear the drag long before that thing gets actually taken out of there. Can't really give you a crawling in bed shot because there's a light on up there, but maybe I can reach it from here. Who knows? I can. All right. Good night, guys. so it didn't freeze. It's not bad in here though. I can just see my breath. Turn this heater on. Come on heater, do your thing. It's about 7.45 in the morning. It's 31 degrees out there, feels like 23. And it's beautiful in here. And uh, Gotta be careful where I set this down. I don't need it to slide into a hole. Right back over here. We didn't catch any other fish. Not another nibble. Let's see if my bait is still on there. Nope. So something stole my wax worm. Uh, it's kind of a bummer. It would have been cool to wake up to something. <sighs> no sockies. I stayed pretty dang warm last night folks uh wasn't bad in here at all yeah i thought i'd try to catch an early morning fish that's not happening early morning fish why don't we crack ourselves a brew have a little drinky poo and then see what mike's doing probably start getting stuff packed up Kept it really simple this morning. Got myself a Duncan. Love these things. Oh, air going through here. This is a good morning. I can tell you that, even if I'm not catching anything. Here we go, got one. Catfish. <laughs> Give me my hook back, bud. There we go. Stop tangling yourself up in my line. Well, another tiny catfish. I don't know what's up with this lake, but there's definitely an abundance of these guys in here. Wrong way, dude. There you go. Well, I think I'm going to get suited up. and I know Mike's awake over there. See what he's up to. And I think we're probably going to start getting our junk cleaned up here pretty quickly. He's got a, he's got a lonely dog at home 
right now. But it's a great night, guys. And caught a fish this morning. That's always cool. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe they've all been tiny little catfish, though. But it is what it is, right? It's a beautiful morning out here. Mike's still alive, he didn't fall through. Sun is coming up behind me. And we're still catching tiny catfish, but it's gorgeous out here. y'all we're all loaded up back in the truck mike has got his stuff loaded and we're gonna get headed out of here it was a good night it was a great night i mean we could have definitely got on some uh bigger size class of fish but yeah, it is what it is it is what it is yeah first we're, ice outing what do you get yeah you know? we didn't get stunk skunked <laughs> on our first ice trip of the year spent the night on the ice had a good time and we did end up cooking some fish so we still ate oh we ate that's all we that ate. matters but uh yeah We'll go ahead and just close this one out here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. Deuces. Oh shit. <laughs>